Thank you. Six thirty. Meetings now in session. item is the approval of the agenda. Does anybody have any uh, changes to the agenda this evening? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, are we, I guess I wasn't clear what we were doing on the agenda because I thought we talked about we were going to discuss process before we both went into closed and then in closed we're going to see how the candidate fit the criteria. I mean, is that for what, I, I guess I don't know what we're doing. That's, that's what I thought we were doing. No, we're just going right into executive session. But don't we have to set the criteria publicly? What criteria? The criteria for well, how we're going to how, select how are we to interview. Don't we have to publicly? Not that I know of. Yeah. I think we do file for a closed and open meeting session. I don't believe, I, is that, does anybody agree with that? I do not. And is Jay on, on no. I mean, if you want to stand by that, we can ask them with any directions. So anyway. I, I just don't know what's the process for a public office should be public. public. The process we've done is we've discussed in closed session well, how, the how, people we want to have, we as a group discuss what we want to have on the board. But we, how are we going to do that? They have you some have criteria. To have a criteria. Like what, you know, how are we going to go through this? <coughs> That's the process that I don't think needs to be secret. It's not secret, it's but we not. just, there's no... Well, well and you can't do it in executive session. You can discuss the candidates in executive session, but you cannot set the criteria in a closed session. Mm -hmm. Well, the criteria, we're not setting any criteria, we're just discussing it, and we're right, going to decide. Right. Well, we have to have some criteria on which to choose. Well, you don't... Or select. Well, technically, you, you could decide to interview all nine people. Well, she's saying there's going to be a criteria well, of how we make the decision. Well, yeah. But the criteria but is is our our discussion in executive session of the candidates themselves. We don't have to lay out a specific say, okay, we're going to take the people that do this, 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 and this. Well, last that week, is not required. But last this. week in closed session, when I said the <coughs> discussion about how many did we have last time right. when we had a vacancy, and this right. was discussed and closed, and you said there were six, and we interviewed three. And I said, well, then it should be comparable. And you said, well, that's process. We're going to discuss that. No, Which we did. No, we didn't discuss it. You no. stated openly we're going to interview two. But we as a no, board. No, I didn't say that. No, he didn't. He's, I'm pretty sure he said the same thing. He just said no. I said it was going to be three or four, whatever we decide in the conversation. The conversation is how many candidates do we want to interview? interview. And we're going to decide that by discussing the candidates themselves. Understood, but we need to set the criteria so the public understands on what basis we chose the next board member. And the basis we're going to choose them is their qualifications and the needs of the board and what kind of people well, they are. Why can't we are. make that public? We just did. Well, what, why can't we discuss here what we believe the needs of the board are and then we go into close to discuss the individual huh. personalities, the individuals who meet that criteria. 
Feel free. We have to add a, do we have to add an agenda item in to discuss that? It's all the same. It's part of setting up the procedures. Is that on the agenda? I don't know because I never understand the agenda that you get to me. <laughs> I have to go That's through the first. Anyway, um, it's not on the agenda at this point in time. So we're on the approval of the agenda. Okay. So the question is whether we should add, before we go into executive session, an item to discuss our decision-making process and how we're, gonna, how we're gonna make the decision and exactly what the criteria are that we're looking for. Can, so, can you give us the exact piece of the exemption that references the appointment of a board member in the uh, instance of a vacancy? Does that language The exception to go into closed session? The one that specifically addresses the vacancy. It does, we'll, we'll be it's happy to right discuss there it. on the press release. The eligibility. The eligibility criteria. Right. Okay. Can you just right there read it out loud? What does it say? For eligibility to be appointed to the board, you must be 18 years of old, of 18 years of age, be a citizen of the United States, a resident of Illinois, a WTH District 121 for at least one year immediately preceding the appointment. A registered voter, not a child, sex offender, or hold incompatible public office, not have a prohibited interest in the contract with the district, not be a school trustee, not hold a certain type of prohibited state or federal employment. Okay, but the piece in the open meeting that the item that allows us to go in to discuss the appointment, because I think in there it's... So you're telling me I can open. bring up a person's name in here with his credentials no. that he submitted and talk about. No, no, no. 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 Said just general, sure talking that's, about general. What is that the general criteria? But that's where we would build the criteria off of what they submitted. So if I can't go in public. We should already have a criteria yes. that before we go in close. Yeah. Did you have a criteria submitted when you got elected? Most times they appear before a public forum. Did it happen? Well, no, because there wasn't. Then my point is that, can I make a motion to approve the agenda? Second. Any more conversation about it? I just was looking for some, we have to read it before we go into close, whoever makes the motion, just the specific language that has to do with the appointment of the Board for the executive session. Huh? Yeah. Right no, no, no. That's it. It's not the statute. statute. References more to the high school. I don't know what you're asking for. The Open Meetings Act. We use that language with the exemption, and in there it mentions the language about being able to go in to discuss the appointment of the board. Can you just read that language? Yeah, that's actually in your agenda. I, the I agenda I mailed to you? Uh, the exemption reads, the selection of a person to fill a public office, including a vacancy in a public office, when the district is given power to appoint under law or ordinance, or the discipline, performance, or removal of the occupant of a public office, when the district is given the power to remove the occupant under law or ordinance. Okay, but this is some, I, I'm, Okay, we don't have statute. But anyway, if this is taken out of the statute, then it says regarding the selection of a person, which is this, which we're going to talk about, but the process is not the selection of a person. The process is the criteria for the selection of the person. And I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe Jay knows. Are we stepping over no, the there's exemption? No, the information we have from our attorneys as well as um, the uh, Illinois Council of School Attorneys is that the process of how to select an individual is not detailed by statute. It's not. It, and may be addressed by board policy. So the individual appointed has to meet the legal qualifications mm -hmm. which have already mm -hmm. been in right, the post. Okay. In okay. Um, a board may discuss selection of a person to fill the school board vacancy in closed section pursuant to section 2C3 of the Open Meetings okay. Act 5 ILCS 120-2C3. Okay, and I understood that that okay. part we were discussing right. as well. The selection of 
the these individuals. I mean, these well, the information they gave us, but that doesn't address what you have to do first. Right. You know. Okay, I guess I'm not understanding what your question is. The question is, they want us to to discuss what we're actually the criteria under which we're going to make our decision right. in open and session. whether we're how many people. I mean. Right, that's going to be but based don't on you think that will be based on our yeah. conversation and how no. we're talking with people? No. How can you okay. decide that? No, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. We're, we're wasting, wasting time. time. I know, we're wasting time. So either we're going to discuss it or we're not. And I, I personally think we should discuss it. Because I think this there's no point in not, not discussing this situation at this point. It doesn't really matter. It takes five minutes to discuss the criteria, so we might as well go ahead and do it. That's my opinion. So, there's a motion on the floor to approve the agenda as it is. And then second, right. So, I think at this point it makes more sense for us to just go ahead and do it. So, do we have to table that agenda or that motion? No, it has to be voted. the process of uh, what we're going to do. Perfectly. Well, selecting a new board member, right. right. That'll be the next item on the agenda. Okay. Moving on to the next item on the agenda. The reception of visitors. Would anybody like to speak? Sure. Uh, I'm uh, Ron Friedman. I'm a trustee on the War Newport Public Library District Board since 2009, six year term ending April of 2015. <coughs> I'm very interested in the community. I've been in Gurney since 2007. Hope to uh, see our community continue to develop as a destination spot, not just for tourists in the summer, but for residents and business owners year round. Thanks. Okay, anybody else wanna speak? John, why were you meeting with the mayor today? Just to talk and have lunch. To talk about board business? No. Really? Liz, what? really? What? That's insulting. I, I, I'm sorry, but that's out of line. Lars? Yes. If he was discussing board business, all of us should have been involved. Who said he was discussing any business? I am asking. I have the right to ask. And I answered. You did. And I, I had the right to ask. How did you know he was having, having lunch with the mayor? Just so you know, he doesn't be doing anything. Okay, don't mind me asking. If, if, you, if you know, I think I want to know. You want to know? Well, if, well, if, you, Liz, if you know. Open your ears. If you know. Open your ears. Liz, you're not answering the question. I am. I overheard them saying they were going to meet for lunch to, or they were going to meet today. I did. We did discuss it at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the um, discussion of the process. I for, talked to Mayor in the park the other day. I don't know what that was about, but for uh, um, excuse me for the. Uh, Process for uh, deciding on appointing a new board member. So, well, first question we want to answer is, how many people do we want to interview? I think that'll be, that'll be, that'll I be think based three. on their three. credentials and the, their packets. And I think three is a good number. Right, get it. Well, I think that we interviewed, if I remember, John, you said at the last meeting, you had six candidates the last time and you interviewed three. So, Logically, we should interview between four and five because half would be four point five, but we can't interview half a person. So I still think it should be three because there really wasn't a decision at that point to interview half the people. It's just that we felt th the three were the, the worthiest people 
And since we have to identify the process right now, I'm gonna stick with three. So whatever everybody else well, thinks, I'm okay. It, it seems like some of the board has already discussed this. Absolutely not. We discussed it in the last meeting. We talked about it. We talked about it in the last meeting. There. You were there. Yes, I was. And we said three or four or whatever. Right. So now we're making a decision. I think it should be three. Everybody else. Are making said, a decision? We are making a decision. That's why I Did said. Did we vote on it? We're going to have to make a decision one way or the other. You'll have to vote on the process. Three. I'm three thing, John. You know, there's a precedent because when Chuck Crowley resigned, you know, basically half, half of the candidates were interviewed. I know that um, on Sunday at church, a number of people came up to me and asked <coughs> me work, and Excuse I said, me. well, we're having a meeting about it on Tuesday. Um, but the comments made to me was, you know, if, if this is something that people are really interested in, their position was we should interview everyone. And I said, well, you can come and tell us that. Come to the meeting and tell us that. make it. Um, <laughs> they asked what happened in the past, and I said, you know, there were six candidates, three people. Um, so I feel that that's a precedent that's already been set. Mary? Um, um, is no, there a notice, on, or is the front, the, the door on the circle open? You know, um, where the buses drop off in the summer? The front well, the people would always come in for a meeting. Right. Is it open now? Yeah. I don't know. Is there a meeting notice posted on that door that yes. tells them to come yes. here? Yes. yes. And is, are there directions on how to get here, or can they come through the building to get here? It, it says district office right on top of it. The sign out there says district office. Very clear. Well, as I had told Mary before, we had I had people who told me they tried to come to one of our meetings and they couldn't get in the building, and they tried several doors. That's why I'm asking. And since Catherine said she suggested to people that they could come to the meeting, that's why I'm asking. Was, okay, why don't we go down there? Somebody walk down there. Okay. Yeah, just walk down there. How did you, uh, you find out about the meeting tonight? <laughs> You're thinking like me. He's fine, me too. Online. He read. Online. And Told you, you, you know what right door to walk into? No, I haven't been to this door, but when I pulled in, I saw some cars out here, so I figured this is where it was. So, common sense thing would try that, huh? My common we'll go, sense, we'll go see if I can't speak for anyone else. They can get here. And the security guard is probably is yeah, there is the security there. Guard. Yeah. Yeah. so they can get in here. They, so. they can so get in. It's fine. Good. We'll just go down and see if anybody's wandering around. Okay. <laughs> so the next item on the then we should discuss um, the criteria that we want to have for a board member. So um, anybody have any suggestions? John, at the last meeting you mentioned um, that we're going to have to be dealing with the next strategic plan. So someone that has strategic planning experience would be good. The um, because finance is going to be such a big piece of the future, uh -huh. you know, the, the deficit spending issue can't continue. Um, you know, dealing with the $87 million in long-term outstanding debt is something that... Which is all levied. Pardon? Thank you. Go ahead. I mean, that's a uh, it's financial piece. But our, our constituents have told us that they don't want it to be Hey, this is not what we're discussing. We're discussing what we're doing here. I we're doing that is important. No, it isn't. We're discussing the criteria for selecting a board member. We're so not discussing finance. finance. So, someone so, with some so finance, finance, I got that done. Um, I got that done. Um, John, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think someone who has been attending board meetings and Commit their that. process and commitment to it is, is, in, yeah. is important. Um, you have mentioned in the past having a, a former student uh, be on the board. I don't think that has to be a criteria for it. I, I, I think that would be, be interesting, but doesn't necessarily have to be a deciding factor. I think that if there's a, Absolutely. a qualified person that's a student that has something that was a former student. It was a former but student. But that would be something you choose a candidate based on if they're a, a former student or not. Right. Well, I don't. So think so far we have commitment. People come to the meeting. Well, it's commitment. It's I think. commitment. 
It's yeah, commitment. Strategic plan. Not necessarily committee, but commitment. I would like to see someone who's committed. And just because they have a pen doesn't mean that they're not committed. Okay. You're certainly, everybody's entitled to their opinion, so mm -hmm. that's cool. So that's fine. So we've got commitment, strategic plan, or planning, maybe it doesn't have to be planning strategically, it just could be planning, or strategic planning. Mm -hmm. Finance, any other ones that anybody would find important? There's something that was uh, mentioned in the church, it was a great discussion, I guess, at church, about <coughs> board vacancy, but um, one of the things that was mentioned was that the last time the board appointed a non-Caucasian to the position, which um, these individuals felt was good, is because we are not an all-white community or an um, all-white student population. Mm -hmm. And so the comment made to me was they felt that that was um, so a wrong? good appointment for the, oh. the prior board had done. Oh, I'm under staring at you, making me uncomfortable. Sorry. I'm so, okay. um, so you're saying so diversity? It was just a statement that was made to me. Yeah, I think that's always a good goal to have, but I mean, at this point, we don't, you know, don't it's know. not part of the application process, so we don't know right. until we decide we're going to interview. So. Gender or sex or mm -hmm. age, yeah. I, mean, I think we want to stay away from those types of commitment, strategic planning, finance. That's why I have a problem with this process, yeah. because do you hear well, it could be you're the not, thing is once you get in there, it could be a different process too, because you don't know who everybody is. But if the, is that's what we choose, the discussion is so important, and and I think if you if you outline too many things, you're gonna you know yeah, but you know what, Barb, it doesn't matter how much stuff we put down here, because we don't have to do that. That is not setting the precedent for this next candidate but you have to be to, appointed on the board. You have but we to can talk about this. You want to go nine to one, you yeah. know, and. I think good, good yeah. communication skills, works well with others. Those types of things are important to me. Process. If you can't get along and you can't communicate effectively, um, doesn't matter how smart you are, what financial background you may have. Yeah. Um, well, if you're going to be here to, here to throw roadblocks up and, and well, one of the personal agendas get in the way. I think so, so one of the things that I think is important to consider, it's, it's always difficult to know because you don't know these people very well, but mm -hmm. you know, the makeup of a board is not always exactly the same. And, and one of the advantages to a board is things that, are, that people have that are uh, different skill sets. Mm -hmm. So sometimes somebody, you know, just looking at someone, and I, you know, I can't think of anybody specifically, but sometimes it's a matter of the fit of these people, how they fit with the current group. Do they have a skill that we're lacking right now? Whatever it might be, I don't know. You know, I don't have anything specific at this point, but that's always been one of the criteria that I've used is who who fits well um, with the with the strengths of the current group or the weaknesses, whatever they may be. Well, right, right. I, I think that was right. Education, point, point was education, education was an important piece. Right. And when we appointed Socrates, he was a finance guy, so we liked he liked his experience at that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think there's. I think, you know, as, as you read through them, as we talk about the people, I think that's going to be one of the criteria is how do they fit with the rest of the people that are here already? Right. Not in personality, but in skill sets or mm -hmm. right. thought right. process that's or whatever. So I think that's, a, that's important. You know, because frankly, any one of these nine, oh, yeah. basically the fact that they are interested and they're committed to service. I mean, anybody who's committed, that's committed to service you have to credit that. You know, Martin Luther King said anybody can serve, and this is a service job. They don't get paid. <coughs> it's volunteer. You said that really well. Committed to service. It's yeah. Really, really well. Good. Right. That's good. Good. So anybody, yeah. want, every really one of these, but we're in a unique position yeah. to a point where basically the public does it. <laughs> but. Um, okay. Anyway. Well, we have seven things, so I think that's a good number. Does everybody okay. feel good about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we need a motion to go into executive session. I move to enter into executive session regarding the selection of a person to fill a public office, including a vacancy in a public office when the district is given the power to appoint under law or ordinance or where the discipline, performance, or removal of the occupant of a public office when the district is given the power to remove the occupant under law or ordinance. 5 ILCS 120 
2C3 in litigation with an action against affecting on or <laughs> action against affecting or on behalf of the particular district has been filed and is pending before a court or administrative tribunal or when the district finds that an action is probable or imminent in which case the basis for the finding shall be recorded and entered into the closed meeting minutes 5 IL CS 122 C11 no action will be taken in executive session all action will be taken in open session roll call eight seconds oh and motion or uh, any other second second yes ma'am discussion um according <coughs> to my minutes we do not have anything about discipline or uh, the item that's going to be discussed in closed session is not on the agenda for tonight the thing that we have a, an attorney on call for is not in my agenda. Right, it was added as, a, as an executive. We can't, we can't add something. We can add it to executive session in a minute because we can't be too broad when yes. we start. We add things right. to the executive session motion at the right. last minute because right. before it was too broad because we included everything. Right. So we have to add things that come up at the last minute. Right. We do that and that is acceptable. Yes. We have a motion on floor, Ms. Conway seconded. Roll call. Mr. Monda? Yes. Ms. Conway? Ms. Conway? Yes. Ms. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Crum? Yes. Mrs. Biondi? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Motion carries.